Hi guys and welcome to your Monday afternoon cooking and um, so the last couple of weeks we've been looking at this white sauce haven't we and so we made a white sauce with a lasagna and then we've gone on to making it into a cheese sauce we did mac and cheese with pancetta last week and this week I'm going to show you something a little different again so here I've got a lovely pot of that cheese sauce following exactly the same recipe as last time I've got a colander I've got a dish and I've got a cauliflower got some more grated cheese and a bag of cheese and onion crisps I'm going to use them in the same way as I did my other um, recipe with the mac and cheese that's my secret topping okay so as you can see we're going to make cauliflower cheese and in fact in my slow cooker look I've got a nice bit of gammon that I'm going to have it with with some roast potatoes but some of you I don't know is it controversial might like um, cauliflower cheese with your roast dinner not too sure if I like it but um, or you could have cauliflower cheese and chips however you want it guys but I just wanted to show you another great way of using the cheese sauce and getting some veggies in to you so first things first get them hands washed get your equipment out and we're gonna prep this lovely cauliflower okay guys so let's get rid of these outer leaves first you can either break them off like so or we can get our knife and just cut carefully around the base okay and get rid of these leaves like this and then you'll be able to see how easy it is to break the little bits off do we know what the little bits are called florets is what we call the small pieces of broccoli there's a big stalk there we don't need that but if you look can you see in here just there if you just run your knife in there like so it breaks off how easy is that and then once you've removed the first one look you can see then how easy it is to get rid of the other ones get rid I mean cut off all right so we're gonna go around prep this very quickly like so Ooh. okay then once you get going look now that bit I can just cut off end up with this big bit but in fact I don't even need to use my knife anymore cut that stalk off and look at that it just all comes apart now we're going to wash this under some cold water and then what we're going to do is boil it in some hot water until it is cooked okay now while that's rinsing guys I'm using um, cauliflower here but really you can use any veg that you want um, if you've got some broccoli you could stick some broccoli in with it carrots peas I tell you what does go really nicely in it is leeks you could try some leeks with it um, all sorts really whatever veg you like peas did I say peas I'm just flicking the kettle on to boil um, it's really quite a versatile dish but I thought that I would go for the traditional cauliflower cheese so we're gonna get that broccoli on cooking I've just said broccoli I don't know why because it's cauliflower <laughs> you can get the cauliflower on cooking and we'll show you what to do next okay guys my broccoli oh, I keep calling it broccoli I'm sorry cauliflower is cooked um, you see look it just sort of oh, drops off the fork um, that's boiled probably for about 10 minutes okay so it's just nice and tender okay but it depends on how big your florets are as to how quickly they will cook 
All right, so I'm gonna drain this over at the sink and give it a good shake off because you don't wanna make your cheese sauce already. So uh, we're gonna just give that a little shake. Good little hint is you can always put it just back on the heat for a minute and sort of the heat just helps dry out some of that water. And then what we'll do is get our dish and in a moment we'll put the cauliflower in, we'll pour the cheese on top and then make our special topping. So again, do you remember last week we did um, the mac and cheese? Mmm, I'm going to have to have another one of them. My secret ingredient for a really nice crispy topping is a bag of crisps. So again, I've got cheese and onion. Ready salted would work just as well. Crush them up. Get your grated cheese. Pop a little handful in there. Again, if you followed my recipe that I'm posting with it, it'll probably tell you how much cheese to add but as you guys well know about me I like a bit of the cheese so give it all a good shake up and then you have got yourself a really quick easy cheesy crispy topping right that's had a little bit of a dry, uh, dry off there on the heat we're going to pop it into our dish. Okay. Just move it around a little bit. And then I reckon probably, to be honest guys, because I'm only making this for three people today, that I've probably got a little bit more cheese sauce than I need. So I'm going to pour it over. Well, I don't know. Alright, save a little bit there for a moment. And all you're going to do is just mix that cauliflower up. Mix it up so it is all coated in that lovely cheese sauce. Now, I'm making this. Oh, I'm going to add more, guys. Let's have some more, shall we, on there. Um... Is it worth saving it? Nah. The gammon will be, and the potatoes will be really nice dipped in that cheesy sauce as well. Um, right, what was I going to say? Yes, so if you're gonna eat this straight away, nice and hot, um, chop it and then all you'll need to do is stick it under the grill for maybe five minutes until your cheesy, crispy topping has melted um, otherwise I'm making this in advance so I can film it for you guys um, so what I would do is when I'm ready in a preheated oven oven around gas mark six pop it in the oven heat it through for about 20 25 minutes until it is ready to be eaten okay you want it all nice and bubbly and golden all right so there we are guys that is another fantastic way to use up that delicious cheese sauce that i've shown you how to make this week next week we're going to move on to a parsley sauce okay so I'll show you exactly how to make that next week and then the week after we'll have a lovely recipe for using the parsley sauce. So don't forget guys, if you give this a go, share the pictures with me. I'd love to hear your feedback. Don't forget now you've done all your cooking. All of this washing up needs to be done. All right guys, stay safe. I'll okay, speak to guys, you soon. There it is, just come out of the oven. Can you see it bubbling? 
it smells amazing. So if you have a go at this, please share your pictures. Cauliflower cheese.